Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Jupiter, so let's dive right into it. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, clocking in at an impressive 70,000 approximate kilometers. Jupiter was likely named Jupiter after the Roman god of gods, Jupiter, because of Jupiter's enormous size. The planet Jupiter, not the god Jupiter. Though he was the king of the gods, so maybe he was fat. Now, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun, and a year is actually I'm going to let you guess this one. Since a Martian year is about 690 Earth days, how long is a Jupiter year? 700 Earth days? 800? 1000? 1200? Well, none of those are correct. It is about 11.86 Earth years. That is how long Jupiter takes to revolve around the Sun. This is mostly because of the ginormous asteroid belt that is in between Mars and Jupiter, but the distance is also kind of Jupiter's own distance and not really the asteroid belt being in between. Jupiter is composed of mostly hydrogen and helium, which are also the two main gases that compose the Sun, if you remember from the Sun video. As a result, Jupiter also shares many other types of similarities with stars, even though it is not a star itself, but still a type of planet. Jupiter, however, isn't a rocky planet like the other four, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. It is what is known as a gas giant, and is also what the next four, um, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are classified as. Now, although Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, it also has the shortest days of any planet in the solar system as well, with one day on Jupiter being nine hours. Yeah, you heard me right. Nine hours! It is not uncommon for a gas giant to have such a short day period. In fact, most, if not all of the gas giants in this solar system actually have a very short period of daytime. Jupiter rotates so fast on its axis that its shape is not even a sphere anymore. It's more ovular. In fact, if you see on the image right there, uh, shown on the screen, then you can probably see that Jupiter isn't even a sphere anymore. Probably one of the most look at me features of Jupiter is the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a, well, spot on Jupiter that is red more or less in coloration, but it can be sort of more of a tan color sometimes. The Great Red Spot is actually a big storm that has existed for 356 years approximately. The spot originally when recorded was, let's just say much larger than it is today, with it capable of fitting three entire Earths in its diameter. Nowadays, the spot has gotten a little shorter and now it only fits one and a half Earths. So the size of the spot has gone down in half. Nothing lasts forever, unfortunately, and this storm will become smaller and smaller before finally disappearing. However, a storm in the northern hemisphere of Jupiter is forming that might be a successor to the Great Red Spot for civilization in hundreds of years in the future. Jupiter has the most moons of any planet in the solar system as well, with, as of 2021, having 79 moons. And by the time you're watching this video, maybe in a couple of years in the future, there will probably be more and I'll just seem like a big idiot. Four of these 79 moons were discovered by astronomer Galileo Galilei, who also proposed the heliocentric model of the solar system. These four moons are known as the Galilean moons and are Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa. The biggest of these is Ganymede, with it being approximately the same size as the planet Mercury. Probably one of the more interesting moons is Europa, with it maybe having the possibility of containing life. This is because Europa's composition is mostly ice, with a layer or rather ocean of water underneath. As a result, Europa probably contains bacterial life and maybe even some forms of aquatic life in general. 
Europa is currently under an expedition as well, and we will probably go to Europa within this century. And maybe, just maybe, we will find life on Europa. Because Jupiter is a gas giant, it doesn't have a solid surface, which means that you cannot land on it. However, if you were to go inside of Jupiter, you would probably be ripped to shreds of the insane storms in Jupiter. And I just don't mean the Great Red Spot. The whole entirety of Jupiter is basically just one massive storm that is waiting to, to rip anyone that dares to enter it into shreds. In fact, some satellites have been gotten rid of this method. Yes, people actually plunge the satellites when they're out of service into the core of Jupiter so that they could be ripped to shreds forever. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it as well. If you did, then give me one of these. And if you like my channel, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss whenever I upload a new video. Anyways, that'll be it from this video. I'm Nick and my goal is to feed your brain. Did I actually just finally finish the cup? No, still full.